There's a lot of talk about Eclonia Carbo in the hair loss community, and that is for good reason. In this video today, I'm gonna to be talking to you all about Eclonia Carbo. When you finish this video, you're gonna know pretty much everything there is to know. We're gonna look at the science, how to use it and everything. So if you're interested in how Eclonia Carbo can improve hair growth, stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair God YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, we create science-backed YouTube videos all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So what we're gonna look at today in this video is I'm gonna show you exactly how to use Eclonia Carver for hair growth with an application method that shows results in as little as 33 days. First, I'm gonna explain what Eclonia Carver is and where it can be found. Then I'm gonna break down the scientific research which shows how effective the brown alga is for hair growth. Then thirdly, I'm gonna introduce you two ways using Eclonia Carver to stop hair loss, induce hair growth, and grow strong, healthy hair. So guys, first things first, what is Eclonia Carver? An edible brown alga found off the coast of Japan and Korea, Eclonia Carver can be found in abundance in Asia, where it's eaten regularly for its variety of health benefits. This alga belongs to a group of algae consisting of seaweeds and other such organisms and play an important role in the marine environment. Aside from its role in the ocean, however, E. carver has gained significant recognition in the field of science and medicine in recent years. From its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties to its use as an anti-obesity agent, research has uncovered its various health benefits and medicinal uses. This alga, composed mostly of polyphenols and other such compounds, has also been suggested to be an effective treatment for alopecia. These compounds contribute greatly to the alga's suspected positive effects on hair growth, and they do so in a number of ways. So the first thing they can do is induce the anagen phase of hair growth. So the way that it works is the growth cycle is comprised of three phases. You've got the anagen, catagen, and telogen phase. So the anagen phase is the phase of hair growth where is the active growth phase. And this is where rapid cell division occurs. And on the right there, you can see uh, a visual representation of the hair growth cycle. After it's finished in the anagen phase, it moves over to the catagen phase. And this is the transition phase. And this is where the hair sheath properly attaches to the root and blood circulation is then cut off. Then finally, it moves into the telogen phase. And this is the resting phase where hair shedding is common through certain factors such as stress and DHT sensitivity. And this can lead um, over shedding and hair thinning. Now, in a 2012 study performed by Kang et al, it was discovered that enzymes of Echelonia carva can induce anagen phase in mice, promoting proliferation of dermal papilla cells or DPC, and possibly even inhibiting the 5-alpha reductase enzyme which is the instigator of DHT production. Now, the mice in the study were treated with either a vehicle, um, which was a negative control group, or a 0.5% of the uh, Eclonia carver enzymatic extract, or finally C, which was a 5% of uh, concentration of minoxidil. So that was like a positive control group. Now, these treatments were continued for 33 days, and photographs of the mice were taken at one 7, 13, 20, 26, and 33 days after depiliation. And we can see on the right there uh, how the hair growth has occurred. And well, the it looks to me here that the uh, Eclonia carver is pretty much competing with the minoxidil. Uh, so it's pretty amazing. Now, while the positive control, minoxidil, did show better results than the group treated with Eclonia carver, the e carver extract group still saw a significant increase in hair growth than in the negative control. And again, as we saw in that picture, you can clearly see that at 33 days, uh, the control group and the Eclonia carver group, there's a pretty big difference. Now, additionally, researchers considered Eclonia carver's inhibitory impact on 5-alpha reductase activity, comparing various concentrations of the extract against finasteride. It was shown that Eclonia carver's mechanism for hair growth may be due to its inhibitory activities with the polyphenol diacol showing the most effect. This is optimistic news for sufferers of hair loss, especially those with male pattern baldness whose hair follicles have been miniaturized due to inflammation. 
The second thing that uh, we think Echolonia carver can do is in the proliferation of human dermal papilla cells. Dermal papilla cells plays a key role in hair follicle development and hair growth. With this in mind, a 2016 Korean study looked to answer whether the polyphenols present within Echolonia carver could contribute to further development and hair growth in individuals with male pattern baldness. With the assistance of 12 healthy male volunteers, researchers collected scalp tissue containing more than 100 hair follicles. Each of the follicles was individually excised and cultured until the human dermal papilla cells could be properly extracted from the follicle for further testing. A variety of Echolonia carver's polyphenols were tested to determine the effectiveness of DPC proliferation and minoxidil was used as the positive control. And the results were as follows. And what this is basically showing is all four of the tested polyphenols had a significant effect on HDPC proliferation, even beating out minoxidil. What more, however, is that hair growth in ex vivo human hair follicle cultures was also seen. The polyphenol PPE showed the most significant hair growth results. And we can see more plotting of the results here. Also, Echolonia carver is thought to affect upregulation of growth factor gene expression. What induced hair growth in the follicles treated with PPE seen in the previous study? Well, growth hormones such as IGF-1 and VGEF have been previously linked with hair growth, thought both for different reasons. IGF-1 promotes cell growth and differentiation and plays a vital role in proliferation and migration of HDPC. VGEF, on the other hand, mediates the development of blood vessels. With proper blood flow, hair growth rates are boosted and follicle and hair thickness is increased. In PPE, the polyphenol with the most impressive hair growth effects, mRNA expression of both of the above growth hormones was increased. And also is thought to reduce the reduction is thought to have an impact on the reduction of reactive oxygen species or ROS. Now, oxidative stress is a major contributor to hair loss as free radicals roam the body and steal molecules from healthy cells. This leads to premature aging, and one sign of which is hair thinning and loss. Echolonia carver polyphenols, however, have been shown to reduce reactive oxygen species, specifically those found in the hair follicles of those with androgenetic alopecia. AGA is also known as male pattern baldness, and the cause is linked to a sensitivity to androgen receptors found in the scalp. These receptors, when triggered, increase ROS. This can lead to inflammation and general scalp irritation, both of which contribute significantly to hair fall. As mentioned, the polyphenols found in Echolonia carva, and more specifically PPE, scavenges the ROS which are produced, and this is due to their antioxidant properties. So guys, Echolonia carva, we can see that all of these different factors and all the, the ways that it works could improve hair loss. So how exactly do you use it? Well, first thing you can do is you can apply it directly to your scalp. As was shown, one of the above mentioned studies, topical application of Echolonia carva had a significant impact on hair growth. To reap these same benefits, you can add this alga to your homemade shampoo or even just apply it directly. To apply Echolonia carver, you'll first need a pure e carver extract. These can be purchased from health food stores, both online and in person. Break the capsule apart and add the extract powder to a container of your choosing. To make the application easier, you'll need the extract powder to a carrier oil. You have a few choices, though we recommend coconut oil due to its impressive penetrative abilities. Add coconut oil to the alga powder extract and just until a spreadable texture has been reached. Apply the combination to your scalp after shampoo and allow to sit for at least 30 minutes, though it wouldn't hurt to keep it on overnight. Once ready, rinse with lukewarm or cold water, massaging the extract and oil from your scalp as it rinses away. The next thing you can do is add it to your diet. Now, whether in combination with topical application or as a standalone method for supplementation, you can include Echolonia carver in your diet for a variety of health benefits. A versatile alga, Echolonia carva can be easily added to your diet, either through capsule supplementation or addition to your favorite recipes. If eating algae is unappealing to you, simply add an Echolonia carva extract supplement to your daily routine. 
This can take you can take the supplement with water or break it apart and add it to smoothies, soups, and other such combinations. If you'd like to give Eclonia Carbo a try, however, you can add it just to just, just about anything. Sushi, stir fry, salad, or even roasted by itself, all are great ways to add this polyphenol packed alga to your diet. Now, studies have proven time and time again that the polyphenols present within Eclonia Carva make it an excellent choice for individuals looking to induce hair growth. In certain, instances, in certain instances, such as in the proliferation of human dermal papilla cells, the brown alga even built out beat out minoxidil. This will help you to determine if Eclonia Carva or any other treatments can help to reverse your hair loss and promote hair growth. So guys, Eclonia Carva Brilliant supplement, brilliant thing to add into a hair care routine. That's what we wanted to share with you today on Eclonia Carver. If you are new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.